know you're a little bit competitive. Did you feel like, excuse me, okay, I'm going to teach you, but don't get better than me. <laughs> Absolutely. It was that way. Yeah. <laughs> so, I love his honesty. Okay, so what do you think the vision of the next gen is? If you could put it in a couple of words. I think uh, the vision for the next generation should be to take it uh, many, many, many notches up because we've done so much already. Fashion has evolved in our country so much. Um, we can't do with mediocre anymore. And we shouldn't. Most certainly we shouldn't. So I, I hope there are a bunch of young kids out there who want to be out there to do something really amazing. Of course, of course. I love that answer, yes. I know that people have this misconception about our country, which is just a lot of color and Bollywood, which is so wrong because we have so much more to give. And I travel all over the world, and I'm not just saying this because I'm standing on this stage. I say this all the time. I think we're way ahead of the game most of the time. And so what do you think it is about Indian fashion that is not getting out there and being known yet? I think it's getting known. Yeah. yeah. I mean, apart from Bollywood and our beautiful colors, like the offbeat fashion prints, why isn't it still like pushing like out there in different countries yet? I think like now a lot of younger people are working with natural textiles and working with craft and that's definitely a shift. Yeah. And that's going to take it there. Yeah. It definitely will. Okay, so being a designer is not easy, okay? What do you think a young designer, if you had to give them advice, what is the one thing they should stay, like, how do they stay motivated? What is the one kind of advice you would give them to stay motivated? Um, I think you need, to, uh, you need to build yourself up as an individual. So it's travel, it's books, it's, you know, the kind of experiences that you have. You can't just be a designer. You have to be a complete individual to be a good one. That's a good answer. All right, it is so competitive in this market. I mean, there are designers coming from all over. How would you stay ahead of the game if you had to give these young designers an advice? You know, I feel in today's world, especially with uh, the social media, everyone's just aping the other. So I think it's very important. The only thing that you can bring different to the table is you yourself. So it's very important to understand yourself, your own experiences, your own life, and to bring it together is the only way you can offer something different and completely, you know, blow people off the roof with what you have to offer. That's a really good answer. Thank you. Okay, you're from the city of Ahmedabad, and I love that we have, you know, from each city we have a representative. What do you think is the next big thing for Ahmedabad in fashion? Yeah, the art and craft that Gujarat has to offer is like abundance and like you can keep working on for 100 years on those arts. So I think you can really work on it and it's a treasure if you can uh, really, you know, you understand that and you can take it to international level. Gujarat has a lot to offer. That's amazing. I love that. Okay, we'll give it up for our incredible... Ma now, unfortunately, she's still on her way. So she will be joining us, but I still would like to give her uh, an introduction. Ms. Tanya Chetanya, Editor-in-Chief Community Officer at the fashion magazine Femina India. Tanya Chetanya has given India's largest selling women's magazine, Femina, a fresh and contemporary feel. Tanya has been instrumental in brand expansion, and the brand has extended to three more regional magazines, two digital magazines, and an exclusive magazine for salon and spa under her vision. She's not here right now, but she will be very shortly, but let's just give her a round of applause anywhere, and I'll tell her later that you did. <laughs> And last but not least, Miss Isha Gupta is a Bollywood actress, as we all know, a model and the winner of Miss India International title of 2007. She is known to ace her fashion game with her edgy style and panache, and I think she's ultra stylish always. Please give it up for Isha Gupta! So particular about your cuts and your fits, and I love, the, yeah, I mean, that has to be immaculate. So first I want you to give one tip that you would give to any new come upcoming designer uh, on how to make it so perfect. And secondly, what will you be looking for tonight? Um, I think the first tip is for any designer to understand tailoring is to understand the body. 
I think you should be able to see, feel, touch the body in your mind without touching. Close but no cigar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, nobody got it. No, no, no. We got it. <laughs> okay. And the next? And what I'm looking for is, you know, Lever over the last uh, two, the protege over the last two seasons, three seasons, has been throwing up some really great talent. Yeah. Uh, nice people in introducing good designers to the industry. I'm looking forward to seeing something like that, more fun, younger, and hip this time. Uh, every season there has been a different crop, and I'm looking forward to seeing what I will find this year. Okay. Well, that's fantastic. I'm coming to you last. <laughs> All right, so we know that the fashion game keeps changing, and I love that you're trying to clean it up and make it pure. Can you explain to people what you mean by that? Um, so, so sustainability is a very overly used word. I think we all can agree on that. Um, but as far as fair fashion goes, what Fashion Revolution is about is basically saying, can we make sure that we're being fair to everybody along the supply chain of fashion? And I don't know if you know, there's about 75 million people that make our clothes, that make garments in the world, and 80% of those are women and girls. So we're sort of saying, let's just be fairer. We all love fashion. There's nothing wrong with fast fashion or slow fashion. But let's just be a little bit more considerate to everybody along the supply chain. So we start there and do we really need to be buying as much as we do and just, just look at the whole process and just be a little bit fairer. I love that. I love that. Thank you. That's, that's incredible. Okay, Isha. <laughs> Why do you always think I'm going to ask you something controversial? I don't trust you. I don't trust she you. doesn't trust me? Isha. And you're moving away. What is, why do they think I... ask the wrong questions and I answer... No. I ask the right questions, you answer them wrongly. No, I just, I mean, there's just no filter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what land me in a problem. <laughs> okay, well, let's try and be filter-free anyway, it's cooler. All right, so now you've been a model and you've been an actress and of course you wear all designer clothes, right? What do you think a model or an actress would look for, not only on the runway, but as an actress on the red carpet or in your daily life? What is the couple of things that you would look for? I think daily life, it's all about comfort. Um, what really suits you, what you're comfortable in, where you're going, it really matters to that. But when it comes to the red carpet, I always like to take risk, which I have always, and I have a great team doing that. Yeah. Uh, but I think one should always stick to what's their, um, you know, to exchange with their body and what suits them. Yeah. Um, and, you know, just work on, um, you know, their, their positives rather than their negatives. Yeah. You know, because we all have something or the other in us which we are not happy with. It's, it's a very girls thing. Yeah. Like, let's be honest, it's not amongst actresses. It's regularly it's a girls. Thing also now. No. What is one negative thing about you? Um, you know, like, I just think my nails right now are not like... <laughs> I mean, I'm a narcissist, but <laughs> no, but I just think like we should always stick to like our positives and make it work. Like I like things, I like to make it fashion statement always, but I like to keep it feminine every time because yeah. that's, that's what I like. I like the more feminine rather than the more sporty feel. Oh. So I think stick to that. I'm a little bit of a tomboy, so yeah, to differ. But okay, I just, I think everybody in the room wants to know how long does it take you to get ready? An hour and, yeah. an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, at least you're honest. Yeah, it's not so bad. I mean, I take 10, I have, but... I have my minions around, taking care, giving me coffee, someone's feeding me a grape, but yeah. Okay. That's the controversy right there, Isha Gupta has minions, okay. <laughs>
really, really hope, you know you jury members are always talking. I hope <laughs> you have. Well, we don't want to know it yet. Don't tell me. Now I would like to request Mr. Philip Bohr to please come back on stage. Managing Director, Grassham Industries Limited. And Mr. Sushil Agrawal, Chief Financial Officer, Grafton Industries Limited, and Mr. Rajiv Gopal, Chief Managing Director. Chief Managing, Chief Marketing Officer, I'm so sorry, Grafton Industries Limited. <laughs> Getting tumble time. Can we please have our esteemed jury, Mr. Narendra Kumar, Ahmed, Ms. Isha Gupta, and Ms. Praveen. Okay, so here, this is the moment it, we've all been waiting for. There won't be any excitement. <laughs> okay, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. I just want to wish all the designers the very, very best. You put in so much hard work. And you know what? It's not easy, but you did it. So congratulations. You're already fantastic. And to all the mentors, all the best too. All right, may the best designer win. Can I please have... Yeah, I know. Okay, can we have Dr. Aspie Patel, can we step forward please? Yeah, no, you're the winner. Yeah, yes, he's the winner. <laughs> And can, this is so confusing, what am I doing? They picked me up. Okay, sorry. And since uh, Miss Tanya isn't here to join us, I guess you're going to be doing this on your lonesome, but no, we will have. Can we, no, this is all mixed up. This is really mixed up. Guys, what have you done to me? Can we just have Miss Purveen up here as well? Because I'll just make it up as I go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to stand with you so you can sort me out here. <laughs> 